Mula Menaka and uh, good morning to you all. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to speak today to the national and regional leaders in the room and around the world. We all know that the levels of ambition in our national plans need to be ramped up because we are not on track to meet the targets of the Paris Agreement. That's why this year uh, of Talanoa is so important. The Talanoas are being held around the world, are producing thousands of good ideas and a torrent of valuable information that can put us back on track. Yesterday, we had a very productive Talanoa here in San Francisco with the representatives of regional government, business and civil society, truly a microcosm of the grand coalition we are harnessing on the global level. As you've probably heard, Talanoa is the Pacific way of sharing stories, but it's not just talk. Talanoa is storytelling for a purpose, and the stories we've heard in yesterday's Talanoa and the scores of others that have taken place around the world aren't just talk. They are tools, tools that can be used by political leaders to increase climate action at the national level. The stories of what is happening in cities, in boardrooms, in places of worship and schools, and in local communities provide political leaders with the arsenal we need to increase ambition. These stories speak of the urgency for action, but also show us the wealth of possibility offered by new innovations and solutions. One of the simple and ironic truths about climate change is that the more we want everything to stay the same, the more we are going to have to change. Loss of land, degradation of our oceans, certain effects of warming, uh, uh, extreme weather and other certain effects of warming will rob us of community, culture and livelihood. So there's no hiding from the consequences. But there are ways to help shape our own destiny. We need to help people embrace the hope. So my fellow leaders, I can only say this. We were elected to lead, not to pander, not to follow, and certainly not to hold up a wet finger to the wind. So let's lead. Let's marshal our forces and move to the front. Because as we say in the military, you cannot lead from the rear. Ask yourself if I could solve this climate crisis knowing that it would come at the cost of my political career, would I do it? As far as I'm concerned, there is only one answer. Thank you.